to me, the e-reader project has brought a new revolution into the theological learning. Uh, here at the Banga School of Theology, where test books has been a problem for students. Most people, after the war, there's scarcity of books, and all of a sudden, you have a little gadget with a lot of books. You see now everybody is clamoring for one because the access. One of the things I have missed a lot about uh, being away from the United States is the fact that we don't have any reading materials available. We created Discipleship Resources International in 2009, and the purpose of that is to respond to a long-lasting need in some central conferences, especially Africa, the Philippines, Eastern Europe, Russia. Each context presents a different challenge, but a common need has to do with the access to resources, resources that are critical to United Methodist ministry and pastoral development. My work is in theological education, and so I work with our United Methodist seminaries around the world. And one of the issues, particularly for the schools in Africa, is the lack of resources and library materials, and a lack of contextually developed materials. We were leading a three-day writing retreat in Liberia for pastors, uh, theology, faculty, and this idea just occurred to us in the middle of the conversation. It was kind of a God moment at the time. Why wouldn't the e-reader work as a way of, of actually bringing a, a library into the hands of every student and into the hands of the faculty? The thought of not having books to encourage the students to read on their own, to think on their own, and as I talk to professors in these seminaries, they have to write everything out on a chalkboard, and then the students have to write it all down. I mean, it's enough to feel the responsibility for shaping spiritual leaders for the church, but to do it without resources would be even harder. The more we processed the idea, the more we felt we should move forward with it. We spoke especially to the Dean of the School of Theology and to some of her leaders there at Bonga. But would they like to partner with us? to do an experiment. And of course, they leaped on the idea. The payoff was uh, tremendous. The excitement of the faculty, the excitement of the students, very high. When uh, Yada Young, who is the dean of the school at Bonga in Liberia, where the pilot project happened, when she gave her report to the Africa Association of United Methodist Theological Institutions, she was so excited. And she had testimony after testimony from students. In Liberia, the pastors, the theologians, those who come to the school and graduate, I placed very, very high in the educational sector of our country. And so equipping our pastors in this school, in training, uh, to know how to use a kingdom you know, will help them a great deal. And in fact, it is a library, and, and a library in your hand, the palm of your hand, and it's going to add credit to the educational development of our pastor as well as our members. I think the pilot project for the e-reader was very successful because it was doable. It was affordable. It could bring resources to people who didn't have them. What we've learned in the pilot project is that the impact is very positive just at the point of availability of the books in this form. It's very positive. For the students, obviously, they have more access to the books they need. And for the faculty, the faculty have access to, to scholarship, resources for improving their own scholarship that they haven't had before. In the areas we're working in, both in English-speaking areas, French-speaking areas, Portuguese-speaking areas, especially in remote, the most remote areas, the areas that have, been, that have presented the greatest obstacles to accessibility for resources, uh, the e-reader seems to be a tremendous solution. Uh, the only thing we really need uh, to keep this whole program going is funding. And funding will come from the church. Funding will come from students making contributions. But the only way for this to be really sustainable is for donors, individual donors, and for individual churches to get on board. 